Alright, yo, so for this video starts, shout out to my sister. She's actually letting me borrow her camera. I really appreciate it. It's such a nice camera. And as y'all remember, the one we had before this was... Uh, <laughs> there might be like a slight delay. If there is, let me know down below because I need y'all to actually help me out. I'm not really great at this recording camera stuff yet. But today's video, my boy Ags actually posted a video talking about a new Roblox Hunter Hunter game. This is a game called Beyond Men. And they actually posted a four minute trailer about Godspeed, which if you watch Hunter x Hunter, you know what's Kilo was then, and so I figured, why not make a video reacting to both? I need y'all to tell me how you guys are feeling about the face cam, and uh, yeah, with that being said, if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate if you hit that sub button, and let's get straight into the video. So first we're gonna go react to the Beyond Men Godspeed showcase. Let's see this. Okay, Whale Island. Combat looks decent, nothing too crazy. That's definitely copyright though, so I'm gonna lower that. Regular five hit combo, doesn't look like anything too crazy. It's not bad, it's not great either. Okay, you better show us guys. Okay, there we go, all right. I guess this is Killua's skill set in general, not just Godspeed. Alright, the moves don't look bad at all, I won't lie. Combat seems very basic, but... Oh, okay, okay, that wasn't terrible. I actually kind of messed with that one. Like I said, though, so far, it's just seeming very, very basic, I'm not gonna lie. Nothing crazy. I mean, the, the moves look dope. Like, the, the abilities look decent, but... Combat... I'm not really too impressed. So this is Godspeed, I'm guessing. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> oh, TB dashes. That's dope, I guess. Combat just seems really meh, though. Like, like I said, the skills don't look terrible, but the combat just... It seems kind of like just another GPO Project Slayers clone. Especially with the hit indicators and all that, but... I don't know. Clearly, Project Mugetsu did it, so any game can do it, I guess. Doesn't really matter if people are still going to enjoy it. But the skills do look cool. I won't lie, the skills look dope. Nice little rush down combo. I think that's all the skills, though, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, never mind. He has more stuff. Okay, cool little 5 hit combo. I really hope they change this combat, though, because even for, like, Project Slayers... GPO clone type combat, this doesn't look too crazy. Like, it doesn't look super smooth compared to uh, Project Slayers. W what is this, the actual Godspeed, I guess? Whoever scripted the game is really carrying, I, I gotta say. Whoever scripted the abilities is carrying the hell out of the game. That's the main. Okay, animations are hard too. Main thing is the, the abilities, though. The combat is just not doing it for me, I won't lie. But the abilities do look heat. Okay, so cutscenes just give you immunity. I mean, the cutscenes are cool. I'll admit, the cutscenes are cool, but... I feel like if you're gonna go... Let me just say this, yo. This game seems like it's, it's trying to, like, pull a grand piece online, where the main focus is the, the cool, flashy abilities and the skills and all that. But I feel like GPO can only do that, because GPO's combat is actually smooth as hell, even if it is mad repetitive. I hope they do change the combat, because it does seem very basic. And that's honestly holding the game down, because... Rx Hunter is something that we do need more anime games for, so if the combat was good, I could see this game going crazy. Abilities are cool though, but that's like basically the main selling point. I think I'm gonna go ahead and... Damn, the cutscenes are clean. The cutscenes are clean, I won't even lie, but that's like... The main thing. I mean, let's see what these comments are saying. Didn't actually expect it to look good. Good job. That's crazy disrespectful. Bro, these moves are cold. Okay, so everybody feels really good about this. Let's see what Ags said real quick. These are my boys Ags and Sage Z reacting to this clip too. Let's see it. Got the M1s. They don't look bad. What do you think of that, Sage? Pretty mm. mid. <laughs> doesn't look like anything special, but doesn't look bad. Yeah, that was my thing too. Like yeah, it, it no, doesn't it look bad, terrible, but Ooh, look at that lightning though. Not really great. Okay, that did look cool. Is your average? Is your typical um four five hit combo? Yeah. Then we have some Godspeed abilities. Dang, don't go nah, if you like play this game, don't go Godspeed, don't be weird. <laughs> Very basic. I wonder, wonder who edited that. Oh, okay. So this is uh Godspeed mode. It's giving me um project vibes though. 
that yeah. much i will say yeah for sure no I doubt i can't skip past that i was saying that too right eggs isn't really talking too much about the combat though which is surprising because i figured he would be saying the same things i was saying all right so for my final comment on this game beyond then um i'm not gonna lie the combat just combat seems really really mid and that's my main thing because if the combat wasn't mid then the game it, it low-key could be fire i mean we clearly need a 100 x hunter game in the roblox anime community so if you can make a good one then it'd be dope but so far this just seems like a grand piece online type game without grand piece online combat and that's just really good moves and animations but for me personally that's not enough to keep me on roblox anymore a lot of games i've seen can be carried by cool effects and stuff like that so I mean, the game might do good, but it's it's not something I can really see myself playing unless they change the combat. And that's all I'm going to say. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Cool.